Is it worth spending a lot of money to upgrade your buffer system for your rifle? I say if you can afford it, absolutely. Normally I use the uh, one from JP Industries and uh, I'll never, never regret spending the money uh, that I have dumped into those. I have them on a couple different rifles, um, but they are expensive. Uh, the H2 weight that I use for uh, all my uh, rifles is like $180 uh, before you uh, buy extra springs to you know fine tune your rifle or whatever. Um, I haven't found that I actually need those, but some people you may have to. Uh, this one here in front of us is the one from Armaspec Stealth Recoil Spring. This guy runs around uh, I think $80 to $90, so it's literally half the price. Um, this is actually the second one that I have, so guess what? It obviously works. It's obviously good. Um, but compared to the JP Industries, there's a uh, couple differences that may or may not matter to you. Um, this one comes in multiple weights. Uh, this is the uh, H2 version. Uh, they've got a carbine version, an H, H2 uh, they've got one for uh, Big Boars H3. Um, they've got one uh, specifically for uh, 9mm uh, carbines, which that was actually the first one that I bought. Um, anyways, uh, you've got a, a pretty big selection. Um, the cool thing about this, uh, compared to a lot of other buffer systems, is um, it keeps tension on your bolt like even when it's closed, which is pretty cool. Um, the main reason that I started venturing into the uh, silent buffer systems or whatever is, is that twang that you get uh, whenever your rifle cycles. The JP Industries buffer system, it totally eliminates that. It uh, reduces your felt recoil. Everything just runs smoother. It's, it's amazing. But again, it's expensive. So I got one of these for a uh, nine millimeter uh, carbine to try it out because I didn't want to spend as much money on that uh, platform as I do on my AR-15s. And uh, you know, what the hell, I'll try it. Um, it ran pretty close to identical to the JP Industries. Um, the H2 here, this is no exception. Um, the only big difference is that when you hand cycle the weapon, when you charge it or whatever, this is stiffer. Even after these have had several, several hundred rounds put through them, they are still noticeably stiffer when you are hand cycling a weapon. Uh, that's not really a big deal. But the uh, in the instance of the 9mm uh, carbine that I was talking about, it is a side charging model. It's stiff enough that it is annoying. Is it annoying enough to justify spending an extra $100 on a more expensive uh, system to get rid of that twang and make everything run smoother? Probably not. Um, I will say that for all my ARs uh, going forward, I'm probably going to be getting uh, the armor spec instead of the JP Industries just because of the price. Um, whenever the uh, past couple uh, rifles that I've built and sold for people, um, if they're interested in spending the extra coin uh, for getting uh, a buffer system upgrade, this is usually what I point them at because um, you get the most bang for your buck and you're really not going to notice the difference unless you're messing around uh, doing stuff by hand on the rifle. Um, if you're having to clear malfunctions or whatever, uh, pulling the charging handle, under stress, you're not going to notice the difference. It's kind of the uh, same opinion I have on... Uh, Super expensive triggers, like when when, <laughs> when your heart rate's you know pounding, you're you're not going to notice the difference. So, 
anyways, uh, hopefully this helped if you were considering uh, which one of these you should get. Um, save yourself some money. Grab one of these.